Welcome traders, welcome once again. As you all know, this is Greatness FX. Uh, today's weekend and this video, in this video, we're gonna be working on the weekly forest forecast to know what we have for last week. And we're not gonna be adding much pairs. Why? Because we had some running trade for the previous week. So let's get straight into the chart and see what we've got. So we can know what we'll be expecting for the coming week. Now, as you can see from this side, as you can see, we have CAD CHF, USD CAD, AUD, NZD, Euro Group, which is one, GPP, USD, GPP, JPY, and NZD, JPY in our watch list. Now, all these pairs were added to our watch list during the week, I think by Thursday. And the reason we are moving them to this coming week is because none of these pairs are satisfied or has gone as we forecasted so we'll, we'll still be watching them for this coming week and if anyone gives our entry rule we'll enter and if anyone goes the opposite direction that we had anticipated we'll just remove it off our watch list and by god's grace if the if i'm free during the week i think i'll add more pairs to this watch list now for last week now these are the running trades we have this is running risk free for a 1 to 18 risks to reward. This is running risk free for a 1 to 3.4 risks to reward. This is also running risk free for a 1.1 to 1.1 to 11 risks to reward. And this is also running risk free but almost close to our break even. So for this week, let's quickly see what we are expecting from these pairs that are here. So you can add them to your watch list as well and enter if your entry rules are satisfied. Because my entry rule are meant for my students only. The best I can do is show you what you are expecting. Now after analyzing this pairs here, what we do is that we go on the student room and the ones that are closed or have satisfied the entry rules are the ones who will filter for them so they can go in the trade with us. So let's start from card CHF. Cut CHF, what are we expecting? Okay, let me go back to the daily time frame so you see. Now, Cut CHF, the reason you can see this color here, orange color, is not in red like others, is because it's not yet in our watch list. We are still waiting for it to satisfy this rule. If it will do exactly what you are seeing here, that is when we we'll move this color from this uh, orange to what? To red. But right now, it's still in orange because it's not yet in our watch list, but we are watching it as well. So, card, uh, card CHF, uh, there is no need going over to the weekly or monthly time frame. Why? Because you can see this is a wedge pattern. This is a what a wedge pattern. And after a wedge pattern like this, after an impulse and there is a wedge, there is there is every possibility that the ninety percent of the time the market is supposed to move to the downside. So what are we expecting? We are expecting the market to break this trend line and the retest of it. We'll add it to our watch list and go over to the four hour time frame to monitor our entry rules if they are satisfied. Also, for USD card, USD card, what are we expecting? We are expecting the opposite of the word the card CHF. Now, this is an impulse to the downside, and you can see a wedge to the downside as well. So, 90% of the time, the market tends to break the trend line and at the retest of it, we start moving to the upside. So, it's it, this week is, is not in our watch list because it has broken above the trend line so we can add it to our watch list now we don't need to wait for a retest immediately market open by monday we should be looking for our entry rules if they are satisfied from this pair already so and also another pair in our watch list is aud nzd okay this one now we can go over to the higher time frame to tell you let me show to you where we are expecting the market this way now from the weekly time frame from the weekly time frame okay as you can see from the weekly time frame, the market what formed an l w formation now this is the information the market is supposed to retest it as you can see it did with this candle this week here it's, it was once a bearish candle that week you can see that it was once a bearish candle before it turned a bullish candle so it has retested and started going up there's a possibility that it will come back to test it the second time to form a double bottom however we are expecting to get to this region because of this structure level the market will push up a bit the market will push up a bit to this level and after which this level will reject it this key level to this uh, key level also of former resistance turn support now turned 
uh, support again at this level. So the, the uh, take profits was determined due to one of our strategy take profit. And uh, as you can see, the market is on its way to come back to retest it as it has broken structures. That is why you can see on the daily time frame, you can see it here. Now, daily time frame is claiming an uptrend, impulse correction, impulse correction, impulse correction, impulse correction, impulse correction. This is a new impulse, and the market is to what? Correct to this level, and immediately get to this level, then we'll go over to the forward time frame to monitor our entry rules if they are satisfied. Now, but getting into the getting to this region does not guarantee us to take our entry alone. We have other other things we'll look out for in this daily time frame and weekly time frame, and if they are satisfied, that is only when we start looking for our entry rules. Another pair in our watch list is what the euro card, the euro card, euro card. Sorry. Having bits of network. Okay, for Euro card, what are we expecting? Now, without going to the weekly and monthly time frame, you should know what you are expecting already. Um, there is there's due to experience, you can be on the one hour or four hour time frame, and you know what's happening or which pattern you are expecting to see from the weekly and monthly time frame. But I'm not saying you should be expecting anything. But I, I just want to quickly tell you why I won't go over to the weekly time frame to check because I know it will be in alignment with this. As you can see, this is an impulse to this upside and this is a wedge. So after every wedge like this, you expect the market to what? To break over to the upside and start moving to the upside. But fortunately, this one won't. Why won't it break to the upside? Because as you can see here, the market, like I taught you or I've always said, now a fake breakout comes this way or if you want to see a head and shoulder pattern, it is a downward trend line. And the market is respecting this trend line this way. Up, down, up, down. Now, when the market will form a fake breakout, instead of it to retest this region and start moving to the upside, it will retest it. What will happen? It will break back below the trend line like this to form an equal low, then retest the trend line again and start moving to the upside. As you can see, this and this is a left shoulder head and right shoulder can you see it this left shoulder head right shoulder same thing you are seeing here this left shoulder head right shoulder and most of the time the the, the left shoulder is always higher than the right shoulder that's why you see what you are seeing from the chart currently you can see what we are anticipating what we are forecasting we're expecting the market to what Start moving to the downside. As you can see, it has started already. And uh, once market open, we'll be monitoring one of our entry rules from the four-hour time frame for a short opportunity. Uh, okay. So for for those who don't understand very well, let me go back to the weekly time frame and still explain to you. For the weekly time frame, you can see the market form of extended W formation. And most time, the market will come back to retest the structure before the formation. Now, these are the structures. These are another structure. So, as you can see, the market already started to move to the downside, and we expect it to get here before it move to the upside. That is why you see this wedge here. And also, you see us anticipating to the downside. However, if the market wouldn't provide our entry rule, then no, it's about going to the upside. Another pen and what this is the GPP USD. GPP USD, why are we uh, looking for a short opportunity here? Because as you can see, the market moved with in, uh, impulse to the downside, and another uh, bullish candle covered uh, the one of the bearish candle and part of the what the bearish candle, the first bearish candle, and it also covered this one. You can see the momentum of this candle. And as you can see, the market is consolidating in this area and it broke structures. This is structure level. Now we expect it to retest this structure and move to this uh, downside. Though this is not our take profit we are supposed to use, we we'll take our profit using our rules for our strategy. So I just identified that area because of those watching this, so you can have a profit target. Now, as you can see, this is what we have in the weekly time frame as you see this consolidation. Now, the market this first time that it, this is the first time it broke structures to the downside, and we expect a retest of this structure before it move to this downside. So, this is prevent present price action, and that's where we, what we are working with. If we want to use former price action, as you can see, the market is supposed to get to this region. And let's see if it gets to that region. Yes, it tested it. Yeah, it tested it. You won't know, you won't understand why we are, why we are using this. If not, most people use um, most people use this. They will just place it here, expecting the market to get there. 
but you will understand why we are using this you will know when you get to the um, student in our room where they learn the rules for strategy so we expected the market to go back to retest this area and after retesting we look for one of our entry rules if some of the rules here are satisfied before we start looking for our entry rule from the for our time frame also gpbjpy was one of the pair we added to our watch list as you can see the same thing you are seeing from the gpbusd is the same thing we are seeing from the gpbjpy but the GPBJPY there is a structure level here which will push the market to one retest but there is no structure level from the GPBUSD so if the market retest this area and the rules in this um, uh, daily time frame are satisfied we'll go back to the forward time frame and look for one of our entry rule to this downside and the last pair we added to our watch list is uh, the NZDJPY as you can see it is a wedge and these are for every wedge you expect a breakout to the downside and the retest of it for a what an impulse to the downside as you can see i didn't watch this pair very well this pair is supposed to be one of our running trade because uh, from what i'm seeing now the entry rule we need for this time frame are satisfied and uh, uh, for our time frame entry rule must have been satisfied by now yes we must have been risk free by now if i took this trade but because maybe my eyes were now on this trade and um we missed our opportunity already but what are we going to be watching out for now i'm going to be following it on trend continuation because definitely the market will come back to the retest region as you can see here so let's wait for a retest of it or if it didn't provide one of our entry we'll remove it from our watch list during the week so this is all we have for the watch list now one thing you should note though i didn't break the cot data here commitment of traders used by the hedge funds and uh, banks and institutions now i didn't break them here because they are meant for the students only but what you should know is that all these analysis you see here are backed up by cot any of our analysis that is not backed up by cot we don't take them because we we like to move with the banks we like to move with the hedge funds so if they don't agree with us then we don't trade so all our analysis here are backed up by cot and before we make entry we also check the new release that uh, the new cot that was released yesterday we also check them before we start looking for entry room if they have they have added or closed more shots before we will, if they have added or closed more shots or they have or they have added or closed more longs and we check the difference in percentage before we start looking for our entry rule and if any does not agree with our analysis then we don't have a confluence with the hedge funds so we go off the market so this is all for now don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also share to your friends who need to learn forex for free or join our telegram channel where i stay 24 hours a day and update everyone teach you for free if you wish to become be in a mentorship program you can also message us you will be added to the mentorship program and um, also you can visit our website at greatnessfxtrading.com to learn forex for free this is all for now thank you very much god bless